Hi, I'm Mike, and I'm pleased to announce the return of the project list. Today, we bring it back for our spring round of to-dos with a special two-parter as we tackle a problem that started last year. We put a Band-Aid on it, but today we're gonna hang a brand new 12-foot gate and recycle some used pipe from right here on the ranch to build about 30 feet of fence and fix it for good. It's today's project list on our Wyoming Life. Welcome back to the project list. And if this is your first time here, let me catch you up. The project list started long ago, long before YouTube. And it began as a way to keep track of the multitude of projects that seem to pile up around here. Well, and try to keep them in some sort of order. Each and every time you notice something that needs done, you write it on this list right over here. And as we get things done, we cross them off. Problem is, for each thing you cross off, it seems that at least two things get added, and it works great. When you have a hand around here, anytime anybody needs something to do, it's always right there. All you have to do is have a look. Over the years, hundreds of projects have been added and crossed off, but now that we're coming out of winter and into spring on the ranch, it's time to get after it and take advantage of some nice weather before other things pull us away, like calving and haying, which will be here before you know it. Today, we're gonna to take a project off the list that has been there for over a year. It originated when fence was tore down by cows in the corral. Because the corral isn't an area that is constantly occupied by cattle, we fixed it by putting up a few panels as a safeguard against any other cattle getting out. Since that time, as often it does around here, things came up. We used that corral to hold all the calves after we decided not to sell at our normal time last year. And wouldn't you know it, that corral saw more use in the last few months of even last year than it has in the past 10 years. And usually it's actually just a holding pen for just a few cows, so eh. The calves left back in January, but with the weather, frozen soil, frigid temperatures, all that, it wasn't a good time to try to replace the fence. Now though, the temperature is rising, longer days are bringing better weather, and the frost is in the process of coming out of the ground. Some projects, the window to get them done is slim and this is just one of those projects. If we have to bring a cow in while the fence was down, we'd be in trouble. So we need to get this done pretty quickly. With our temporary panels down and out of the way, we have to come up with a plan. This fence never did have a gate on this side of the corral, but more gates are really not a bad thing, and being able to clean the corrals and take manure directly to compost piles rather than driving all the way around would be nice. So a gate it is. First, we have to remove some extra fence that didn't get taken out when the great escape took place. And there we go. The fence is no longer an issue. And with the twills and the bobcat, neither are the nails. And we can get everything piled up and out of the way. Once our work area is a little bit cleaner, we can start looking at where and how we're gonna hang our gate. The gate we're choosing to use in this application is a 12-foot gate from Verns Manufacturing in Wessington, South Dakota. Now they've been designing and manufacturing everything from panels to calving equipment to feeders and even entire corral systems since 1964. And this is their heavy-duty 12-foot gate. Cost is about $180 from our local feed store. And one thing I like about their gates is that you can install them by yourself. If you farm or ranch, you find yourself working alone a lot. Now, I'm not sure if that's because we're hard to work with, and to be honest, we get used to working by ourselves, and it does make it harder when you do have help, 
But sometimes when you do, you wish you didn't. So folks at Verns know that and they know how it goes. And their gate is equipped with hinges already attached. All you have to do is drill through your post. But first you want to measure and make sure you have everything that you need and everything is going to fit. You have a 12 inch threaded piece to fit through your post. And like here, anything in the way will actually cause you problems, especially with, with larger posts. Once we clear the way, we're good to go. And I like to drill a hole that's just a little bit too big. This is a 7 8 inch auger style drill bit. You can drill one of these using a spade bit, but that'll actually require you to keep cleaning out the hole. The auger bit is designed to continually push material out and it makes drilling a long hole like this one much, much easier. After measuring where you want the bottom of your gate to hang, I want mine at least a foot off the ground due to snow, we can drill the hole through the post. We try to stay level, but it's okay if you're not perfect. Burns knows you're out here all along, remember, and they make it pretty easy on you. The top hole we measure out, and with the Verns gate, you have a quite a bit of leeway. Uh, we want it to fall on one of these boards, so we go for about a 36 inch spacing. We also use a level to make sure that the gate is as vertical as possible. Another hole through the post, and we're ready to go. I like to use the Bobcat to hold the gate while we're installing it. This gate weighs about 100 pounds, can be a little bit cumbersome to move around, and the Bobcat can hold it for us where we need it, or at least close to. Because we drill our holes a little bit bigger than needed, our threads slip straight through. The bottom thread first, which we then tighten all the way down until it's completely tight. The top thread is actually an adjustment thread. Once this one's in place, we can, and it may take a little bit of engineering to hold it in place and put it where it is, you can put the nut on and tighten it until you get your, your gate level. And there we go, we have a gate. Next up is the fence, but that's for next time. When we go and recycle a bunch of pipe that we have from old oil wells that were dismantled here on the ranch. That pipe will find a second life as probably the stoutest fence on the ranch as we weld it together and eventually install it in place. But that's not until next week, right here on the project list. If you'd like to find any of the tools and items in today's project list, you can check out the description and head on over to our affiliate store on Amazon or go to amazon.com slash shop slash our Wyoming life. I hope you can subscribe and come along with us, explore the ranch life and escape your ordinary. Until I see you again, have a great week and thanks for joining us in our Wyoming life.